Putting a stop to Iran's nuclear program has emerged as one of the most divisive issues for world leaders meeting in Biarritz, France. French President Emmanuel Macron says it's been informally agreed he should approach Tehran in the name of the G7. But U.S. President Donald Trump denies having even discussed the question. Trump pulled the U.S. out of the international accord on Iran last year. Here's what the U.S. president had to say about any new approaches to Tehran. Mr. President, did you sign off on a statement to Iran, a message to Iran that President Macron says he's going to deliver on behalf of all the G7 countries? No, I haven't discussed it. Yeah, but uh, we'll, we'll do our own outreach. But, you know, we can't stop people from talking. If they want to talk, they can talk. And DW's Georg Mattis joins us now from the summit in Biarritz. Uh, Georg, earlier we heard that the G7 wants President Macron to send a message to Iran, but that no longer appears to be the case. Is that right? It looks indeed uh, like Donald Trump is not ready to ease tensions with Tehran, and that is something the French president really uh, hoped to achieve with this G7 meeting. He met up uh, prior to the G7 with, a firm, with the Iranian foreign minister. He had a phone call with the Iranian president. Uh, he worked very hard on that front. Uh, we heard yesterday from diplomats here that there was even the idea circled that uh, Europe could uh, buy some oil from Iran in return uh, for a number of favors and for Iran sticking to the rules, for instance, uh, uh, holding their feet uh, still, not, not, not causing more trouble in the uh, Persian Gulf. But none of that valid today. Uh, the, the American president even denying, uh, like you've said, that such a discussion took place. Uh, the French president tried to reduce the damage uh, just now by announcing that this is an informal meeting. They have debated things. They all agreed that peace uh, in the region is important and that uh, Iran should not get any nuclear weapons, at least on that front, everyone agreed. Okay. In, in other uh, developments at the G7, we understand that the British Prime Minister, Boris Johnson, has been talking about the likelihood of a Brexit deal. Uh, what's he had to say? Well, Boris Johnson, after a meeting with uh, Donald Trump, uh, first of all announced uh, that he has high hopes for a U.S.-Britain uh, free trade deal. And, of course, he's best desperate uh, to provide some uh, positive news, uh, something that will make look uh, Brexit easy, because, after all, what he did not say is that Europe is uh, the biggest trading partner of the U.K., and dropping out of the EU for the U.K. will mean it will lose a whole set of free trade deals that, has already, that have already been arranged via the European Union. Uh, hammering out new trade deals is a, is a lengthy issue. And uh, this has, on the, on the second day here, uh, dawned a little bit, apparently, on Boris Johnson uh, when he said that the uh, Brexit deal outlook is, is a little uh, more uncertain. OK, Gorg, uh, speaking of trade, Donald Trump has denied the U.S. trade war with China has been an issue during these talks. Let's have a listen. Mr. President, are your allies pressuring you to give up the trade war with China? No, not at all. I haven't heard them. I think they uh, respect the trade war. It has to happen. Is there any second thoughts on escalating the trade war with China? Yeah, for sure. Why not? Second thoughts? Might as well. Yeah. Might as well. You have second thoughts about escalating the war with China? I have second thoughts about everything. Okay, since these comments, and you just have to follow me here, the White House has confirmed that President Trump actually has no regrets on his approach with China. Um, has have his comments hindered today's conference and discussions at all? It's another example of this back and forth we've, we've seen from the American uh, president, for instance, when it comes to Iran. Now, on that front, it was, it was well, it raised quite some eyebrows here uh, when the White House clarified uh, that what he meant by uh, regretting uh, to escalate tension is. is that he meant to not even get higher tariffs uh, on China. Uh, the whole uh, tit-for-tat trade war with China is a big concern here. The hope was that this summit could help bring about new rules, uh, how the world economies can deal with uh, China that is uh, drowning the world market with uh, cheap products, the subsidized products uh, from China. Uh, but uh, we're moving further away uh, from a solution that President Macron could present uh, at the end of this G7 meeting. Okay, DW's Georg Mattis in Biarritz. Thanks for that.